As the Global Fund Replenishment Conference got underway in Canada, the National AIDS Control Council officials have expressed concern over increased cases of new HIV infections among young people, with 38,000 new cases of infections recorded over the last one year. And amid the grim statistics, Kenyan's announcement of a 500 million shillings donation towards the Global Fund Against AIDS, Tuberculosis and Malaria cannot be more timely. Foreign Affairs Cabinet Secretary Amina Mohammed says the donation is part of the government's efforts to neutralize the threat posed by the diseases globally by the year 2030. We must have sustainable systems that will support our treatment interventions even after 2030, when HIV is no longer a public health threat. Remarks echoed by National AIDS Control Council Deputy Director Dr. Emi Chisire, who expressed concerns that the landmarks could be threatened by new statistics revealing increased new infections among youthful populations. It is unfortunate in Kenya that the 76,000, half of that are young people, between 15 and 24 years. 35,000 new HIV infections per year are from this program. These even as various quarters enhanced efforts to fight the test with the National AIDS Control Council launching an awareness football tournament in Campbell County involving youths from 10 teams. The county leadership intending to leverage on the impact of sports among youthful populations to achieve their targets. We have seen in schools children actually running out of school. We have seen it in the media. They go and decide to stay in a place, boys and girls, and they have been having sex and protected sex. But they may not know that they're just involved in the whole thing. So this is one of the ways we can use, and I'm happy we chose on football. Football is a very popular game. And with the hope that all counties will join hands in the awareness exercise, the Global Fund has played a major role in supporting Kenya's success in combating AIDS, tuberculosis and malaria, with the number of TB cases dropping from 120,000 to 80,000 cases over the last two years, while enabling over 950,000 people living with HIV-AIDS to enroll in lifelong antiretroviral treatment.